When you think about threats to nature and our planet, what comes to mind? Climate change? Deforestation? Pollution? You might not realize it, but one of the biggest threats is something we interact with every day. Food. How we grow and use it. Agriculture is the number one cause of habitat loss, impacting what nature can provide to people and wildlife. How does food have such a big impact on our environment and biodiversity? It takes a lot of natural resources, like land, water, and energy, to grow food. Imagine you are riding in an airplane, looking out the window as you fly over land. What do you think you would see? Most likely, you would see a lot of farms. When we farm, we often change the existing habitat to grow crops. Before it was a farm, the land might have been a grassland home to bison or black-footed ferrets, a desert home to roadrunners, butterflies, and rare cacti, or even a rainforest home to orangutans and jaguars. Once the land becomes a farm, much of the native wildlife can no longer live there because the natural resources they need are gone. As the demand for food increases, more habitats are converted to farmland, and there is less and less left for nature. Growing fruits, vegetables, and feed for animals such as cows, pigs, and chickens requires a huge amount of fresh water. In fact, 70% of all the fresh water people use on the planet goes to watering farmland and providing for farm animals. But it doesn't end there. Once the food leaves the farm, it needs to be packaged, refrigerated, and transported to grocery stores and restaurants. That's a lot of energy to put food on the table. Now, what if I told you we wasted an estimated 30 to 40% of all the food we grow in the United States? Unfortunately, it's true. Every 10 seconds, over 20 tons of food is thrown out. That's about as much as one school bus. This includes uneaten food from homes, schools, businesses, and food that never made it off the farm. In 2019, WWF did a study that estimated food thrown out in school cafeterias alone could amount to approximately 530,000 tons of wasted food per year. This waste equates to 1.9 million metric tons of greenhouse gases, 20.9 billion gallons of water, and 1.7 billion US dollars. Think about a milk carton. When we throw away an unopened milk carton, we waste all the land, water, energy, and labor that was used to feed a dairy cow, the resources and energy used to get the milk to you, and the energy to keep it cold and safe to drink. To make the problem worse, when we throw food and organic materials into the garbage, it ends up in landfills and contributes to climate change by emitting methane, a greenhouse gas even more harmful than carbon dioxide. That's a lot for a single milk carton. But don't worry, this is why your kitchen and school cafeteria are great places to help the planet by reducing food waste. A great first step to becoming a food waste warrior is recognizing what types of food you, your family, and your classmates are throwing away the most. You can do this at home by separating food waste from trash, then measuring how much food waste there is. At school, do a student-led cafeteria audit a couple times a year. When you regularly measure and observe something, you can find trends and create solutions for the problem. For example, are you throwing away a lot of rotten fruits and vegetables? Once you know what types of food are being thrown away, there are several things you can do. Get creative. Fruits and veggies that are no longer fresh enough to eat raw can be incorporated into smoothies, desserts, or soups. Remember to eat or freeze leftovers and only buy what you need at the store. At school, talk with the cafeteria staff about setting up a share table, where students and staff can put unopened and leftover lunch food for others to take who may still be hungry. If there are still leftovers at the end of the day, work with a local food bank to donate extra food to others in need in your community. Try composting leftover food. Composting helps keep food and organic material out of landfills and incinerators, helping to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Talk with your school administration and local political officials about implementing composting programs in your area. 
Young people can make a huge difference by using their voices to advocate for environmental issues. You can write to your state legislature and ask them to implement food waste programs and remind them that food should never be trash. In fact, a group of students in Maryland successfully worked with their legislature to pass a bill that would increase food waste programs in schools. So next time you're at home, in a restaurant, or in your cafeteria, think about the food you eat and all that it took to get it to you. Reducing food waste can be hard at first, but with a little effort, you can make a big difference for our planet and the wildlife we share it with. 